extremely chilling video just now uh, showing that how close pedophile rapist Philip Garrido lured other young girls. Garrido and his wife Nancy are behind bars for the nearly 20-year kidnapping and rape of J.C. Dugard. MSNBC's Tamron Hall reports the videos were released as part of an investigation looking into the failures of the parole system. Can you go all the way down? Yes. Let me see. I bet you can go down really easy, huh? If you didn't know any better, you might think this was a nice moment of playtime between a mother and daughter. But authorities say the woman is Nancy Garrido. I don't know. Look at that light is on. Oh, I don't know anything about that camera. And the man behind the camera is Nancy's husband, Philip Garrido. Authorities say this is one of more than a dozen videos taken by the couple documenting how together they try to lure young girls into their world. In another video, Nancy Garrido acts as though she's taping her husband singing and playing guitar, only to pan over to a young girl on a playground behind him. Nancy Garrido told investigators she made as many as 20 videos like this one for her husband so he could watch them over and over again. All right, I'm joined now by forensic psychologist Jay Buzz von Ornsteiner to get more perspective on this. Uh, Dr. Buzz, yes. as many people call you here, yes. what is uh, probably shocking to many yes. is that Nancy Garrido is helping her husband do this. Why would she want to do that? I think when you look at Nancy Garrido, you look at an extremely dependent personality. Her dependency towards her husband was so ingrained and her need to be loved was was such a motivator that she would accept any kind of directives from her husband, even if that meant procuring young children. Mm -hmm. um, when we look at dependent personalities, when we look at women who have this overwhelming need to be dominated, to be loved, they will do anything to help their uh, husband. That She has low self-value, and she then perceives her husband as having all the value. Does that let her off the hook? Well, it doesn't let her off the hook. We have to remember this is a woman who met her husband in prison. She mm -hmm. was visiting her uncle, but we also have to look at her husband. We have to look at Philip Garrido. Here is a man who is a predator. This is a man who looks to exploit people, and he sees a woman who is malleable. Mm -hmm. He sees a woman who he can dis exploit and manipulate and work with him as really a cohort. So, Dr. Buzz, we can see that sort of wavy gray line that she's trying to skate there and dealing with yes. uh, her husband. What kept them, if they took J.C. Dugard, what kept them from taking any one of these girls that we saw in the videos? Well, see, there we don't know nearly enough, but in terms of Nancy Garrido, she may have thought that if she did these commands from her husband, she may have been saving other young children, that by following his, uh, his, his really, what he dictated to her, mm -hmm. she may have rationalized that, oh, well, if I do this, then he won't do more damage. She may have, she may have even thought, in, in a skewed mind, and she also might have a cognitive right. impairment, there also was substance abuse possibly involved, that in her skewed belief that she was doing the right thing in order to retain her marriage because she was so dependent. Tell us about the psychology. Why would he want to view these videos of these girls? Was it a talent hunt of sorts? Well, I think when you're dealing with someone who has these destructive drives, we're really looking at an antisocial personality. Society really looks at this as sociopathic traits. He. This, this impulse, this drive was so overwhelming that he looked out to procure first a wife who would help him, but then the impulse was so strong that he really didn't have control over his own impulses. It was there to pillage, to rape, to exploit society. We're really talking about someone who doesn't really have any empathy for society. He found a wife who he could manipulate, really just like a puppet on the string. It's, it's really, he looked at his wife really as a marionette, someone who he had power over, someone he could exploit, someone he had control, and then he viewed that as his way to get the rest of society without being able to get caught. And so close as we saw in Tamron's package uh, to being caught, but they did not get caught in the end. Oh, thank you so much, Buzz von Ornsteiner, for, yes. for your perspective today. Thank you for having me.